Okay, this is this is where things get exciting. So we'll get a little acceleration here. Whoa! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing a GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. This is the GMC Sierra sweet spot. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Provo GMC for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Craig. And then on a side note, if you can save time and money the next time purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes to a 10 speed automatic transmission. It is good for 15 around town and then 20 on the highway from a fuel climber perspective. And then power outputs are 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood here, it has the Sierra's signature hood where it's basically flat there in the center and then raised on either side. Now popping down below, I've got the gigantic GMC logo there front and center. This also has a camera below the GMC logo, the C-shaped LED headlights with the daytime lights. And I don't know why I said C-shaped LED headlights because the daytime running lights are the C-shaped lights. But anyways, parking sensors there at the bottom of the bumper. And then you guys can see tow hooks. We also got fog lights. Putting it all together, I think this is a really good looking truck when you look at the front end. Come around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And the wheel design on this is pretty crazy. I absolutely love it. You guys can see it's kind of chunky and pops up all over the place. It, it's cool. We have our 6.2 liter V8 badge and then the Sierra badge down below. And then we do have these fixed side steps. And then taking a look at the full side profile here, you guys can see again with the chrome trim there on the door handles and then on the side steps and the mirrors, it all comes together. And then a couple more things, you guys can see how aggressive the tires are and then we do have leaf springs. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, lock function, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate as well as the GMC logo there on the back. Press that a couple times and it'll pop right down. Now popping inside, we have a payload capacity of 1,665 pounds with this truck. And then you guys can see here with the LED lights, you've got that little grab handle and then you got the GMC logo and notice the bed's already protected, which is nice. And then also you got an outlet here. We've got the multi-pro tailgate, so it'll pop down and turns into a step. And then lifting up's pretty easy. You just do kind of one sweeping motion. We've got these C-shaped taillights here and then stuff like our SLT badge. You've got parking sensors here at the bottom. You got the squished exhaust tips with the bumper steps. Now that's going to sum things up for the rear of this truck. And I do want to mention this one has the max trailering package. So it has a towing capacity of 13,000 pounds. Starting with the door panel, we have this nice wood trim here at the top. Then you guys can see the double stack design with the armrest section. And I love the door handles here with the new GMCs. Tons of storage space there at the bottom. And then with these seats, you guys can see here with the padding nose perforated in the center. And then you got the behind the seat storage, and then you guys can see down below, and then more under seat storage as well. Legroom here in the back is actually pretty solid. We've got our storage pocket here. We've got some cup holders down the center, heated seats, vents, USB ports, you know, the usual. And then this, of course, has the cup holder armrest. And if you guys are wondering, headroom back here is pretty good. I've got nice padding all over the front door panel with the wood trim, just like what you have in the rear. And then you can see with the window controls, automatic for the front too. And then we've got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in, memory seats with this. And then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then another speaker for the Bose sound system and more storage. And then coming over to the front seats, you guys can see really nice padding perforated there in the center of the seat. And then you've got all of your power adjustments on the side. Steering wheel is power adjustable. We've got our light controls right here. This is our drive line select. It does have four wheel high as well as four wheel low and four wheel auto. Drive mode select with your tow haul mode. Now here is the steering wheel for the SLT. Really nice padding all around. You got the paddle shifters there for the 10 speed on the back with radio controls underneath. Controls for the center stack, voice command controls. We have our heated steering wheel button here with our cruise control. And then you've got your turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. Full digital gauge cluster here, which will show you different bits of info on the truck and systems in the truck, like the navigation, for example, and it just looks cool. And then when you do change the drive modes, it does give you a cool animation. So like tow haul mode gives you that animation. And then we also have a sport mode and then an off-road mode with this truck. So pretty neat. In reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel, but this is a 360 camera system. So, I mean, you can see out of every single angle with the truck, which 
also adds to the fun. As to the rest of the infotainment system, shortcut bar here on the side, and then you guys can see with the center screen, notice we got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integrated, and then you got the auxiliary screen there off to the side. And then we have our little home screen button there, and then you've got your volume control. This is for the lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and that's to roll down all the windows at once, and then you can see the wood trim down below that. We've got some USBs off to the side. This has heated and ventilated seats, dual zone climate, and then trailer brake controls, which you can't see very well, but there you go, are integrated from the factory. We've got our shifter for the 10 speed automatic transmission. We've got some cup holders here, and then just some more general storage. Now here's the center console. I think it looks pretty cool. You can see storage space is great. We've got a wireless phone charging pad and some more USBs and a full outlet. Nice padding on the dash. You can see the stitching as well. And then got the glove box and got the other glove box. And then up top here, we've got our controls here for the power side window. And then also for the sunroof as well. So we've got a three year, 36,000 mile basic warranty, five year, 60,000 mile on the powertrain. Base MSRP in this truck is $55,300. Now this has the SLT premium plus package, which adds a lot of nice luxury goodies. And then like I said, max trailing package, which is only 850 bucks, definitely worth it because it gives you enhanced cooling, shock tuning, all that fun stuff to make it so towing is a lot easier. Total MSRP, $69,620. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear, and let's set off. Ooh, setting off in this Sierra 1500 SLT and this is actually the first time that I will have a chance to drive the 62 V8 paired with the max trailing package so I'm interested to see how punchy this feels I got to drive a uh, Duramax not a 23 but a 22 Duramax with the max trailing package and it felt punchy <laughs> that was that was such a fun experience so it'll be interesting to see how this gets up and moves so first off, torque's really good again, 460 pound-feet of torque. I just drove a Duramax here before this, and you know what, I love the 6.2, but that Duramax just has so much torque. It's just like really, really punchy. That suspension's good. It's crazy, I can tell the difference between this and the Denali Ultimate with the suspension. So continuing along here, Again, torque is still really good. Seat comfort is actually really good with this as well. It's cool that you get heated and ventilated seats. It definitely kind of adds to the appeal. Yeah, really easy to drive overall. Steering's great. And you know, I mean, for the most part, this feels like a luxury truck, even though this is not technically like a luxury package with the GMC brand, because it's not a Denali. I mean, really nice interior and drives really well. Um, some other stuff the truck sound insulation is pretty good and I, I like the overall design of this new interior with the uh, new 1500s I think they've done a good job in terms of just the overall appearance We've got kind of like lots of uh, screen action here in the center which is always fun that's for sure okay this is this is where things get exciting so we'll get a little acceleration here whoa yeah that punch is harder that is for sure man that's impressive definitely punches harder that's cool Let's get it. We'll get one more here and just kind of. Oh, yeah. Talk about muscle. Yeah, this thing is beefy. Wow. I'm super impressed. Honestly, super impressed. See the suspension going up this. That's solid. It's crazy that Denali Ultimate does drive smoother, though. That is interesting. So, summing things up, um, I think this package is great. I think this is probably the sweet spot because it has all the luxury features you're going to get in a Denali. It doesn't have the massaging seats of the Denali Ultimate. Um, but, I mean, nice looking interior and exterior looks nice. And this is a tow rig, 62 V8 max trailing package. I mean, this truck truly has it all. Let me know what you guys think. That's kind of something's up with our video on this GMC Sierra SLT. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Provo GMC for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the intro in the description down below. As for Craig, I'll see ya.